A quadratic sequence has the following properties. The second difference is 10, the first two terms are equal, and term 1 plus term 2 plus term 3 is 28. Show that the general term is that. Okay, now what a lot of learners do, and it's not correct, they take this and they start using that to prove these things. You're not going to get any marks for that. Leave this alone and work with this and see if you can make what they want. Okay, so we've got the sequence. Um, they tell us that, okay, let's say we had this random sequence, x, y, z, for example. They tell us that the first two terms are equal. Okay, so I'm going to make these two both x. And then it says that term 1 plus term 2 plus term 3 equals 28. So term 1 is x, term 2 is x, term 3, let's make this a y actually. Well, no, we can leave it as z, whatever, equals 28. So then z, if you had to solve, would be 28 minus 2x. So now I can replace this with 28 minus 2x, okay? Now, I can go down to the first difference, that would just be zero, and then I can go down to here. So remember to work out your difference, you always take this one minus this one, and that would give you 28 minus 3x, because it would be 28 minus 2x minus x. Okay, now if you had to go to the second difference, they told us that that is 10. But how would you normally do the second difference? You would take this one minus this one. So we can say 28 minus 3x, take away zero, and we know that the answer should be 10. And so if you then take the, um, th I mean, however you want to solve this, that would just be that. And then if I take the 3x to this side and I take the 10 to this side, then 3x would be 18, so x is 6. There we go. Now that we have x, we can construct this now. So we can say that x is 6, so term 1 is 6, term 2 is 6, and then this would be 28 minus 2 times 6, which is 28 minus 12. What is 28 minus 12? 16. And there we have um, the first three terms of our sequence. Notice how we didn't even look at this nonsense over here. So never take what they want you to prove and then use that to try work backwards. I know it's nice, you're like, oh, brew easy, I'll just sub in values. No, they won't give you marks, that's the problem, okay? Okay, now, if we have six, well, let's actually just keep it up here. If we know that this now, the difference is zero, here the difference is, um, 10. Oh, that's also 10. That's interesting. And then here the difference is also 10. Now we know how to make the formulas. We know that we can say that this one is equal to 2a. Um, we know that 3a, well, okay, if not t, 3a plus b is that one. And then a plus b plus c is that one. So if 2a is 10, then a would just be 5. Now we can work over here. So we can say that 3a plus b equals 0. So 3 times 5 plus b is zero, so if you had to work out b, you would get negative 15, and then a plus b plus c is six. So a is, we said was five, b is negative 15, and then c, and then that's all equal to six. So this would be negative 10, and so if you had to work out C, you would get um, 16. And so we know that the formula of a geometric, sorry, quadratic is a n squared plus b n plus c. So a is five, b is minus 15, and then c is 16. And there we have it. That was a good question. Okay, I'm just gonna clear up some space so we can do question 3.2. This next one says, is the number 216 in the sequence? Well, a lot of learners, they're going to go put the number 216 over there, but that's not correct. If they're saying, is 216 a number or a term, 
in this sequence, you're going to put the 216 over there. So you're going to say 216 equals to, and now you're just going to solve and see if n can be a possibility. So solve this however you feel comfortable, but I'm going to take everything to the right hand side. And then this will become plus 16 minus 216. And that will then be minus 200. Let me double check. Don't want to make any silly on camera mistakes here. Minus 200. Yeah. Okay. Now you can solve this however you like. I'm going to divide everything by five. You don't have to do that. I just feel like doing it. And so n squared take away 3n take away, what's that? 40. Let me double check. 40. Okay, now you can use quadratic formula here. Um, I'm gonna just factorize it, but you can use quadratic, not a problem at all, the quadratic formula. So this would become n um, take away eight, n add five. How did I do that? Well, I know that eight times five is 40, and I know that minus eight plus five gives me minus three, okay? Obviously guys, I've been doing this for years and years and years and years, you guys, have other subjects, so you don't have enough time to go into it the way I've been able to. So if you ever see me doing factorizing quickly, whatever, that didn't come automatically. That just came from years and years and years of teaching this and doing this, okay? So if you just wanna use the quadratic formula in the test and you don't even feel comfortable dividing by five because when as soon as you start thinking, wait, can I divide by five? You start doubting your life choices and <laughs> just use the quadratic formula. Honestly, it's fine. In school, you don't get enough time, I believe. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, there are some people that can, you know, you get those learners who do like 15 subjects and they just always seem to get like 98% for everything. And their blazers, like they have to order a second blazer because they just can't fit all the badges, you know? Like those learners, I don't know, they on a diff another level. They're like Elon Musk type vibe. But uh, I wasn't like that. Like I don't think I even got one badge in my whole life. So, oh no, I think I was a prefect in grade seven. Hashtag winning at life. <laughs> so, um, so um, where was I? So now we can just solve. And so we're just going to say um, n minus eight equals zero or n plus five equals to zero. So n is eight or n is minus five. Now what is n? n is the number of terms. So you can't have a negative number of terms. You can just say like n a for this one, therefore n is eight. What that means is that if we had to carry on with that sequence, you know we had that six, six, 16. If you had to keep going and you get to position number eight, there would be the number 216 over there. So because we got a nice answer and we didn't get some answer like 3.1689, because you can't have, you can't have 3.1689 as a term number. This is term one, this is term two, this is term three, this is term four, term five. You can't have term 3.1689. You can only have a whole number of terms. So because we got a nice beautiful answer, we can say, is 216 a, a term in the sequence? You would then say yes, 216 is a term, okay? Um, after you obviously solved, right? You can't just go straight there without showing um, you're working out.